Muslim women historically do not have equal rights with Muslim men, and this is not an American value. Please discuss. I'm going to share, like, uh, while growing up, what it was like in my household. I uh, grew up with three brothers, and I'm the only girl in the house. And my parents did not treat me any differently than they treated them. And I know what they're saying about um, women not having equal rights with men, but I don't believe that to be the case because when Islam uh, became uh, a religion, women didn't have rights. Islam actually gave women rights. Islam gave women rights to own property, which did not exist at that time before that. In my household, we, my husband and I, we um, treat each other equally, you know, financially, working in the home, raising the children in every respect. So I guess it's how you it, um, adopt, you know, culturally what you um, make of it. In, in my mind, women are not um, inferior to men at all. That's not what the religion is teaching. It's teaching that we are both equal, we just have different rights and different responsibilities. Does that answer the question? Very good. Book, 
can women ever have it all? It was a big debate a few years ago in the Atlantic Monthly, if you want to read the short version. And after <coughs> spending two years working for Hillary Clinton, who was the most women-friendly Secretary of State he ever had, she concluded that in today's America, women cannot have it all. 